Living on our beautiful planet might seem safe, but only until you start thinking of all those dangers lurking just around the corner or in the vast darkness of the cosmos. Let's see what may eventually lead to the end of planet Earth. With each new potential threat, it gets more and more terrifying. Consider yourself warned. First of all, let's talk about hypercane. This natural disaster can get really extreme. A hypercane is a theoretical hurricane of unsurpassed power. It would occur if the ocean became overheated as a result of climate change, or a massive volcanic eruption could trigger it. In any case, these conditions would create a hurricane, which, unlike regular hurricanes, would stretch way beyond the lower stratosphere. The speed of such a storm would reach 500 miles per hour. The pressure inside the hypercane would be so low that it wouldn't let it wear out as quickly as other hurricanes. The hypercane could last for weeks on end. But the worst thing? It would likely damage or even destroy part of Earth's ozone layer, and the whole could be the size of the entire North American continent. Then we've got super destructive tornadoes. A tornado is a violently rotating column of air. It usually extends from a thunderstorm and is in contact with the ground. Inside a thundercloud, warm, humid air rises upward, and cool air falls down along with rain or hail. Such conditions can lead to the appearance of spinning air currents inside the cloud. Interestingly, these air currents start out horizontal, but at one point, they can become vertical and drop down from the cloud, becoming a tornado. Some tornadoes are narrow, rope-like swirls, but others turn into wild funnels. Tornadoes are ranked with the help of the enhanced Fujita scale. A weak tornado normally lasts for a few minutes and doesn't move faster than 100 miles per hour. The next level is a strong tornado. Such whirlwinds can last for 20 minutes or so and have winds of up to 200 miles per hour. And then we can also have violent tornadoes. Those can last for more than an hour and move at a speed of between 200 and 300 miles per hour. On average, around 1,000 tornadoes occur in the USA every year. There's even a region that got named Tornado Alley. It's a 10-state area in the Midwest, but tornadoes can happen in any state. One of the most destructive natural disasters was the Tri-State Tornado in the USA. It was the world's longest-lasting single tornado that traveled 220 miles through Missouri, Illinois, and Indiana. At the same time, the average tornado's path is usually no longer than five miles. But what if one day, a tornado much bigger and way more powerful than any we've experienced before swiped through countries and continents? It would leave behind total destruction and devastation. And how about a supercell thunderstorm? It's the least common type of thunderstorm, but it's the most dangerous. It's likely to cause severe weather, damaging winds, very large hail, and even violent tornadoes. What makes supercells unique is a deep and persistent rotating updraft called a mesocyclone. Supercells can potentially last for hours and cause great havoc. An asteroid impact could end all forms of life on Earth, too. If a space wanderer was large enough, it could cause widespread devastation, like it happened with the nine-mile-wide asteroid from 66 million years ago. It's rumored to have destroyed three-quarters of the planet's plant and animal species, including dinosaurs. Depending on the asteroid's size and the speed of its approach, the impact could lead to massive fires, tsunamis, and the eternal winter effect. It happens when the debris ejected into the atmosphere blocks sunlight and disrupts the global climate. Luckily, we'd probably notice such a large asteroid coming close to our planet with the help of our equipment long before the collision and would have enough time to get rid of this threat. It would be our very own sun that would bring our world to an end. Our star is a gigantic, constantly changing ball of molten gases. Every once in a while, it spews out bursts of energy, solar flares. They often go hand in hand with something called coronal mass ejections. Those are giant bubbles of ionized gas that can accelerate to incredible speeds. The most powerful volcanic eruptions pale in comparison to solar flares that release 10 million times more energy. Within a few minutes, one solar flare can give out billions of tons of charged particles. Solar flares are also insanely hot, with the temperatures reaching several million degrees Fahrenheit. 
Astronomers believe that such bursts of solar radiation happen when the sun's magnetic field gets twisted in some regions. At one moment, all the pent-up energy is released. The star sends out light and particles, mostly electrons and protons. Most solar flares last for minutes, but some continue for hours. Scientists classify solar flares depending on how brightly they shine in X-rays. You aren't likely to notice the tiniest flares if you don't have special equipment. Medium solar flares lead to fleeting radio blackouts at the poles, but nothing too serious. It's X-class flares people should worry about. They cause the strongest and longest lasting solar storms. Now, if you had gamma ray vision, you'd be able to see immensely bright flashes. They occur every day, outshine everything around you, and then disappear again. Those flashes are gamma ray bursts. One of them could wipe out Earth's atmosphere. The flash that might ruin our planet would most probably be born in a faraway galaxy during a merge of two collapsing stars. It would be immensely powerful and super bright. Still 1,000 light years from Earth, it'd already shine as bright as the sun. Our planet's atmosphere would try to protect us, but its natural shield wouldn't last. The radiation would be so powerful that it would literally cook the atmosphere. It would create nitrogen oxides that would destroy the ozone layer. Without this layer, ultraviolet rays coming from the sun would be hitting Earth's surface at full force. They would wipe out tiny plankton in the ocean. But these plankton produce from 50 to 70 percent of all oxygen in the world. So with their disappearance, there would be a severe lack of oxygen, which would lead to the disappearance of life on the planet. In the end, the heat and ultraviolet light coming from the sun would turn the planet into a huge chunk of rock. And what if we came across a wandering black hole? You might know that a black hole is a region in space where gravity is so powerful that not even light can escape its clutches. Luckily, the nearest to us black hole is 1,500 light years away. It seems that we have nothing to worry about until we learn about wandering black holes. Now, things definitely get way creepier. If such a black hole entered the solar system, Earth would be doomed. We wouldn't stand a chance against this space monster. In 2020, 13 wandering black holes were spotted not so far away from our planet. But not far away in space terms means around 1 billion light years away, so we've got some time left. Plus, the possibility of such a disaster is very, very low. One day, a rogue planet might push Earth out of the habitable zone and into an extreme orbit farther from the sun. Then the climate all over the planet would start getting colder and colder. Don't forget that the farther our planet is from the sun, the weaker the star's gravitational pull on our planet is. In the end, our beautiful Earth would get too far away from its main source of light and heat. It would turn into a lifeless piece of rock covered with a thick layer of ice. Or the sun might expand and turn into a red giant. If it happened, it would change the entire habitable zone of our solar system. The disaster would start with our star running out of hydrogen in its core. This would trigger a chain of reactions, which would eventually lead to the core of the sun heating up and getting denser. As a result, the sun would get way larger than it is now. During this transformation, the sun would swallow Venus, Mercury, and Earth. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.